Senator Cardozo. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is for the government leader in the Senate, and it concerns the Charter of Rights. This week was the 41st anniversary of the Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms. This document embedded in our Constitution is one of the key statements about who we are as Canadians, our society, and our values. Gender equality, Indigenous rights that date back to the Royal Proclamation of 1763, freedom from discrimination based on race, national or ethnic origin, colour or religion. Yet we run the risk of this foundational declaration being frayed at the edges with the use of the notwithstanding clause and the attacks on minority rights, whether in the courts, in slogans or online campaigns. Senator Gold, what is your reading about how secure our Charter of Rights is and what do you think needs to be done to defend its sanctity? Senator Gold. Well, thank you for your question. Um, uh, the Charter is a, is a, has been a fundamental, a transformative uh, element in our Constitution uh, since its enactment uh, uh, in 1982. And in that regard, um, has had the uh, uh, impacts that uh, even uh, what's the word in English? They've surpassed the expectations of those who lobbied for it, worked hard uh, to, uh, uh, to, to, to see it come to light. It has transformed the work that we do here in the Senate. It has been a, 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 an increasingly present part of our discussions and our role, as we see it as senators, to make sure that the Charter rights uh, 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 that, uh, of Canadians uh, are taken properly into account and respected in the laws that we are called upon to study and ultimately to pass. Uh, it is true that the preemptive use of the notwithstanding clause is something that is a preoccupation to many of us, uh, 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 to many of us. Um, and indeed, this government, as the Prime Minister has announced on many occasions. Uh, the notwithstanding clause is, we have to remind ourselves, part of the Charter uh, and was part of the uh, bargain uh, that allowed the patriation of the Constitution to happen. Uh, uh, it is the government's uh, position uh, that it should be not it should it should be used appropriately uh, and not uh, uh, irresponsibly and in that regard this issue is currently before the courts as you know I have confidence though that the charter has transformed the way we Canadians see ourselves in many different ways and I believe uh, it is uh, secure in that regard and it's certainly uh, secure in this chamber Senator Cardozo supplementary thank you your honor um, there are some who believe that the Charter ensures this new thing, the right to offend, quote unquote. There are others in last year's uh, convoy who believe that they had the right to park their rigs in front of Parliament buildings forever because it was in the Charter. It seems that we are seeing the rise of polarization, extremism and anarchy. Does ensuring human rights in the Charter allow for anarchy? Um, <laughs> Well, you're, 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 draw, you're dragging the law professor out of me, aren't you? Uh, uh, look, I, I mean, w one of the contributions that the Canadian Charter made to, uh, to the world of, to, the, to public discourse about rights is to make it clear through Article 1 of the, of the Charter that rights, uh, however expansively they may be uh, drafted uh, in a text, uh, are not uh, absolute in the sense that they uh, 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 are not subject to other countervailing rights or interests or considerations. So in that regard, our charter, like all charters, um, recognizes uh, the, uh, uh, the, the necessity uh, to place uh, um, uh, parameters and limits around the exercise of rights that would otherwise um, uh, uh, be uh, 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 unbounded. Um, it is a premise of our Constitution, and not only because the preamble says peace, order, and good government. Um, that our constitution and our institutions exist to provide for order, order, order and liberty, freedom and justice, uh, and that is at least in the, in the, in my understanding of what you meant by anarchy. Um, uh, I think inconsistent with that. I think that the the charter is there to protect those rights which need to be exercised uh, in the context of our liberal democratic constitutional framework. 